Now this is probably the, the really embarrassing choice uh, so far. Uh, Romeo and Michelle's High School Reunion and I don't know, I keep going back to this one. I think uh, I'm very possibly not the, the right demographic for this film. However, uh, <laughs> I've probably made more money for the people who made that film uh, through purchasing it on, on many different uh, formats and indeed seeing it at the cinema more than once back in 97. But for somebody who's into reunion, well actually I was never into reunions, that's the whole point. Uh, seeing this film in 97 clarified in my mind why I never wanted to go back meet some of those same people I went to school with. I think in many cases I thought, what have I achieved? What have I done in my life? What is, uh, what have they achieved? What have I achieved? What can I demonstrate that I've done? Um, do, do I feel I'm at a stage in my life when I want to show off? Or do I need to invent that maybe I invented, uh, not print stick, what is it? <laughs> those little um, purple or yellow bits of paper where you post it notes, that's it. And uh, very silly, very surreal in places, but it taps into something about how we perceive ourselves, how we perceive others, but also, and this is the crucial point, and I think you get this in Royce Point Blank as well, when you do go back sometimes and you meet some of those people from your past, the perceptions that you have been carrying with you for many years don't in all, don't in all cases sometimes uh, stand the test of time, and in some cases we can say, hang on a minute, I don't have to be defined by other people. Interesting. <laughs> Not everybody might see it in the same way, but that's my choice. Romy and Michelle's high school reunion.